and now we're gonna go downstairs and make some breakfast but I just wanted to pop in and say hi we're actually gonna be moving in Sasha my sister to college she's only like 45 minutes away so it's not bad but we're gonna be doing that later so maybe I'll take you along with me and show you guys what that's like go downstairs we're gonna make breakfast I was thinking of making a smoothie bowl because I haven't made one in a while we're gonna see what we do So before we get into today's video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. If you're unfamiliar with Skillshare, they're an online learning community that offers thousands of different classes ranging from digital design, art, photography, journaling, health and wellness, video editing, and basically anything you can think of. Skillshare also has no ads, meaning you're able to stay focused without any distractions, and they're almost always uploading new premium classes and different kinds of videos for you to watch so there's almost always something for you to do and you'll never be bored. Skillshare has also been kind enough to offer the first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description box a free one month premium membership. So if it interests you, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking them out. I'll also put up here a couple of the classes that I've personally enjoyed taking while using my Skillshare membership and I will also leave them if I can the description box below so you can check them out as well. Thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring this video and without further ado, let's get back to it. been like an hour ish since I last talked to you guys and ever since I finished breakfast I've literally been spending it prepping for school since I do start my junior year next week of college and I'm not ready on the bright side I'm only taking three classes I have a business finance class which I've heard I've heard it's a wreck. I've heard it's going to be a mess, but you know, we're prepared for that. We've got tutors, we've got faith in the system, so we'll, we'll get through it, we'll get through it. And then I'm also taking a principles to management class and then a consumer behavior class for my marketing major, but yeah, that's the schedule. I also need to set up my iPad. You'll probably know I already have an iPad, but we had a little we had a little bit of a mix up at the airport. So this is her in all her pride and glory. But yeah, this is what happened to her at the airport. We took a tumble. Did get Apple Care on the new one, which is lesson learned because I didn't get an Apple Care on my first iPad, so I had to pay for a brand new one which we we love we love apple you know if you are interested in getting an apple product for school like an apple ipad or like a macbook please get apple care because don't make the same mistake i did literally if i take this new ipad i haven't opened it yet but if i take this ipad and i smash it against the wall and i shatter it to pieces and i take it to apple for apple care i only have to pay 50 dollars for a brand new ipad that might not sound like a lot, but compared to like the almost a thousand dollars that the iPad cost in the first place, you save a lot of money instead of not getting Apple Care like I did before and having to pay for it all over again. Please, if I can give you one piece of advice in this video, it's to get Apple Care and to insurance your technology. While you guys are here, I figured I'd also show you guys the supplements I take since I do get a lot of questions and a lot of DMs asking about like my morning routine, like my supplement routine, like all that jazz. First off, 
We have these Vegamore Biotin hair gummies. Sadly, I ate the last of them today. So I'm gonna be waiting politely and kindly for my shipment of new ones to come because they're so good. I literally just like the taste of them. It tastes like candy, so love that. For probiotics, I take these seed daily symbiotic capsules. I usually keep these in the fridge too. I don't think you have to, but I I just do just because. So I take those in the morning and then I also take this regular multivitamin. It is the Ritual Essentials for Women. And I've been taking this for almost two years now. I just take it every day just to have a multivitamin in. Just having a simple multivitamin is important for health. This one, this is like my new favorite. It's the Elix Cycle Balance Elixir. It has a bunch of different like herbs and stuff in the tincture and all you do is just take a couple dropperfuls in the morning and like put it under your tongue and then I just swish it back with water and yeah, I've been doing this every day. My little, my little supplement routine. I do also, off topic, I do need to get better at drinking water. I was on a high for a little while with drinking water. I think I was doing like three of these a day, but now I'm really lucky just to get one. So, yeah, I don't really want to talk about that right now, but I'm just letting you know. So update, it is around 12 o'clock now and I just uploaded a campaign for Sprout Living, which is the protein powder that I swear by and I'm so excited to be working with them for that. Just got dressed. There's nothing really special to the fit today. It is just this thrifted Brandy Melville crop and then my champion shorts because I am helping Sasha move today. So I'm getting ready to lift things and work and stuff. So don't want to wear anything super fancy. Well, I'll talk to you later. This is like really annoying me. This little like, it's like a pimple, but it's not. It was there before I left LA and then I came back from LA or when I got to LA, it like disappeared. And then when I got back, it was like, okay, you're back from your trip. Let's come back so she's pretty though we we love her so yeah i'm gonna stop talking i'm like babbling right now but whatever i'll check with you guys later and we'll see what's up Okay, so I just did a quick little run to the grocery store and I figured I'd share with you guys what I got since I haven't done a kind of grocery haul in a little while. So what I got, I just got some veggies for the week. So I got some chopped kale, I got some mushrooms, some shredded carrots, some cucumber, and then I got these Japanese sweet potatoes from Trader Joe's since that's literally the only place I can find them. And then I got some avocados, some rolled oats. I got the vegan kale cashew pesto from Trader Joe's. And then I also got this vegan tzatziki dip. I think I'm saying that right, I'm not sure. That's also from Trader Joe's and I thought it would taste really good on a sandwich. So we're gonna see how that goes. I also got some of this Rouse homemade pizza sauce because I got my favorite bonza chickpea crust from Whole Foods and that's a pretty much a staple meal for me in the week. And then I also got these 
palm -y. It's like a It's basically It's basically like a linguine pasta made from hearts of palm so I've Never had it before and but I had seen it a couple times on Instagram So I figured I'd maybe try it out and see what it's all about But aside from that I also got some sprouts to put on like wraps or tacos or things that I usually eat all the time and then I just got some bananas and then some basic frozen fruit like strawberries and blueberries and then I also got some spices that I was out of so just some regular pepper and some crushed red chili pepper and then I obviously had to get some dates and I will say that the Trader Joe's dates have really been letting me down lately. They're my favorite dates ever and they, they're they just not working for me. So I've actually been getting the ones from Whole Foods and I actually like them kind of more, if that makes sense. I also got some Italian chicken sausages and then just some plain chicken breasts to put on like sandwiches or in wraps or have just by itself if I want. But yeah, it's gonna be the little grocery haul. I figured I'd also show you something else that I had gotten this week that I've been really loving. If you, if you like cinnamon, this is the best cinnamon I've ever had in my entire life. It is from Sprouts and it's their organic cinnamon powder and it, it slaps. It, it's so like poignant and like strong, like the cinnamon smell. It's just amazing. If you haven't tried it, you definitely need to try it. And then I also ordered this week and it finally came. Um, hold on, let me put you down here. Young Cobra's gluten-free sourdough bread to try. And I had seen it when I was in LA at like Air One, obviously, and I just never got to trying it and I really wanted to try it. So I ordered it online and they do free shipping. So that's amazing. Yeah, that's our little, our little oh, I forgot corn tortillas. We're fine though, it's fine. That's just a sign that I need to start doing something different. So we're gonna take that as a sign. But yeah, it's our little grocery haul. Okay, so it is a week later and time has ultimately escaped me. It's been one week into fall semester and I gotta admit, halfway through the first week, I was practically dying. I it's a very common thing for me to have an existential crisis within the first week or the first day of classes no matter what semester it is and this ex existential crisis came without fail i tend to look at everything as if everything has to happen now instead of spacing it out definitely a couple days into the semester i'm feeling a lot better yeah that's kind of what happened most of the week honestly just not felt that called to film which it sucks because I want inspiration to film and I want to make content for you guys but then at the same time like I'm trying to honor the times where I feel like I don't feel as creative I'd rather take time for reflection than constantly feel like I have to be promoting stuff because then I feel like it just wears you down even more and you feel even more burnt out whereas if you actually take the time to rest you'll be able to come back that much more like fulfilled with like creative ideas and more energy to like give to other people and to give onto certain platforms so i don't know if that was making much sense but i felt like taking a couple weeks off of like hardcore filming would kind of help me like rest in a way and just kind of like get my stuff together get school situated and then that way when i do come back to make more content i have more energy and i have more energy exactly that i can put into making those videos the thing is i have so many ideas in my head and i want to execute them but it's like time literally has been escaping me lately i will be staring at my screen watching lectures and then before i know it it's already dinner time or it's already time to like 
wind down for the day and I'm like, where did the time go? I've recently been starting to do meditation. I know I am horrible at meditating, but I've actually made an effort to at least do at least five to 10 minutes. It sounds silly, like how can you not do five minutes, but you'd be surprised. I feel like it's been helping me a lot, not necessarily only with my headspace and with my anxiety, but I think just in me being more aware of my thoughts and coming to appreciate deep breaths. Such a powerful tool to ground yourself that I feel like not a lot of people pay attention to or like credit. So we are making some veggie tacos with my favorite veggie burgers. Make that and then I'm gonna put it with some pickled red onions. You know, I love those. Some sprouts, some sour cream that I made the other day that I need to use up. Uh, some avocado with some lime and sea salt. That's the quickest way to make really good guacamole when you have like no ingredients. So I highly recommend that combo. You can also add cilantro and red onion if you want. But yeah, we're gonna make that. Maybe I'll show you guys my piano skills because my grandma gave us a piano and I've been playing it ever since we got it yesterday. So maybe I'll show you a song. I learned the Married Life song by or from the movie Up, and that's really good. I love that song, but, and I'm trying to learn Evermore by Taylor Swift, so we'll see where we go, but yeah, let's, let's make dinner. So this is me playing the Up song. This is what I have so far for the Evermore song by Taylor Swift. I have basically the beginning done. The beginning's pretty straightforward, but it isn't until you hit, hit like the later part that it gets kind of weird. a bit all over the place but i kind of just wanted to get something out there for you guys and just kind of give you a little update as to where i am and how i've been doing lately given that college or my junior year just started i know that i'm sending so much love and good vibes to you guys and i will see you guys in the next video bye